The results for our teams. Bristol Rovers led a two-goal lead slip as they lost at home to the League One leaders. Yeovil were thumped at home by Nottingham Forest and Cheltenham also lost. So, pride of place this week goes to Swindon Town. Their win at Millwall puts them up to sixth in League One. It's all suddenly going very well for Swindon Town with their second successive win. A sublime opening goal showed exactly what Paul Storick's team is all about. Full of movement and skill as Simon Cox applied the finishing touch. Town's problem this season has been holding on to Leeds and once more they let the opposition back in as Jay Simpson outran Gerald Eiffel to level things up. But with 11 minutes left, Eiffel headed in and marked from a corner to catapult Town up to sixth place, following on from their promotion last season. It was left to Swindon, though, to record the only win by one of our sides at the weekend. Swindon took the lead through good passing and a clean finish by Simon Cox. But as so often they gave away that lead, Jay Simpson outpacing Gerald Eiffel. But Eiffel got the winner with a header 10 minutes from time. The second penalty for Ro wasn't the best. In fact, we only had one winner out of our five league clubs, with Swindon Town bringing back all three points from Millwall. Not only did Swindon provide the result of the weekend, they also supplied us with arguably the goal of the day. Simon Cox gets a hundred quid from his dad every time he scores. This was worth more. Swindon have made a habit of throwing away leads and they did it again, allowing Jay Doe Simpson to equalise. But they now go into tomorrow's match at Swansea looking for a hat trick of wins and an improvement on their sixth place after Gerald Eiffel headed in the winner. This was the only West win of the weekend. Swindon took the lead through good passing and a clean finish by Simon Cox. But despite giving away the lead, Gerald Eiffel got the winner 10 minutes from time.